so the card is insignificant fools on this round um uh, infinity results do not add extra bonus dice of damage for heroes. So that means you can only get a maximum of five points on your dice. Now, you might roll two or three bonus dice, but if any of them roll the infinity symbol, um, all you get is the five points for that one dice. It doesn't roll again. Uh, mm -hmm. Defend and trick are your... Um, approved actions and the conflict line says the villains go first and then the heroes follow up with a setback now I, uh -oh. uh, yeah uh, so let's see setback the GM devises an unfortunate happenstance for the affected side see core 112 for examples I don't need to, to I might look at it for examples um, but the villains do get to go first now I need a second to think about what I'm going to have them do this guy that's in the in the hangar let's work with him first um, let's see so that stymie comes off in just a moment uh, I'm gonna have him make a dex check so squad B hello squad B shock trip five <coughs> open sesame and he's gonna make a dex check um, he's already got that natural modifier so Okay, so he's going to get up and... Oh, he's not going to get up and move. Uh, okay, old boy tries to swim over here to the dock and cannot get up uh, on, the, on the dock itself. Okay. So these two guys right here. Uh, let's see. Right. One. Two. Okay, so they're trying to make their way. I think they're kind of slow, though. Oh, let's see. How to do this. So, um, dogfight. When it's your turn, or, or this round, uh, you will have the opportunity to break loose out of that... Cool. Uh, yeah, out of that shed. You're no longer up Shed Creek. Uh, you, yeah. you, okay, I heard, I heard what you did. I saw what you did there. <laughs> Hello. Are yeah, you they go for it, right? What's that? Yes. Yes. He shot his own foot off. <laughs> Sorry. Is that my... Loud voice. Is that the drummer? Uh, okay. Uh, oh, oh, no, no. Okay. <laughs> now, let's see. You know what? I'm going to put you away because you shouldn't be in my way. All right, so uh, let's see. Let's deal with Colonel Manatep first. I haven't finished moving everyone, but uh, Colonel Manatep, the distance. Yeah, he's under 20. The runner is under 17. Um, Peaches, you may end up playing for a critical moment here. Those three guys are under 20. Which and, two? Huh? Which okay. two? All three. These two guys. Those, Those two are both wounded. And this guy, Colonel Manatech. Yeah, but they're all wounded in setback, aren't they? Um, until the end of their turn, which reminds me, I've got to go around again and remove stuff. Okay, yeah, I already took the stymie off of all these guys. I just had not removed the... Um, the, the little uh, marker that I give him. So, Manatep, these two guys, the, the runner and the sergeant, and old boy from, well, I suppose uh, Shock Trooper 3 could also. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. Uh, we're going to use the sergeant here. 
Shark Trooper Sergeant from Squad B. I I want him. Doesn't he want? Doesn't he have a wound? Oh yeah, that's right. He's not going to be the best one. Well, actually, he is going to be the best one. Okay, he's only got a Mauser pistol. We need to use somebody that's got a. Okay. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. All five of these guys are going to shoot at you at the same time. Okay, since there's five of them, that gives a plus. Where is it? Modifier, difficulty number, where did I put it? Where did you go? Okay, so that's going to be a plus three. So a total of a plus five to hit. Okay, uh, so we're going to submit that. And these okay. guys' rolls. Uh, oh, these guys' rolls have been perfect. I have a 12 dodge. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Okay, these are resident stormtroopers. Okay. Uh, they changed the they changed the name in toward the shock troopers, but it ain't true. So yeah. uh, they're they're actually <laughs> Star Wars Stormtroopers, I'm telling you. Okay, so those guys, those guys are done. Okay, um, let's see. This guy needs to be moved. No, I just moved it. Okay, everybody's been moved. It's your turn, and you have a setback. Now, I'm going to go ahead and take a look at page 112 here, like they said, and look at setbacks. No, no freaking reinforcements. Um... <laughs> There's, uh, plenty. There's plenty already. Okay, let's see how to do this. Um, okay, I know what I'm going to do. Um, the setback is this somebody fires a mortar round at the hangar. Okay, uh, I'm going to kind of bring everybody to the same spot. All right, that mortar round hits the roof and explodes about here, dropping all manner of stuff into the room itself, into the hangar. Um, you've got one piece of wood that actually hits the, the wing of the seaplane, but otherwise it is untouched. You guys, on the other hand, um, I need all of you... Let's see. What's a what's a good one to go with? Let me just pick one of you and come on, open up. Okay. Um, you can't do a toughness check, can you? Let's see. General strength check if you want to make a closest thing to toughness. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Um, no, no, not a strength check. I let's start out with uh, let's start out with a dexterity check. Okay, the target number to beat is a ten, and that's for all uh, all of you, including Peaches. All of you are inside the hangar except Dogfight. Dogfight, I'm going to have a, a separate. Well, the setback for you is that you step out here, <laughs> and you see there are all manner of bad guys around you. <laughs> it's like you look right, you look left, you step out sneakily, and everybody turns and looks at you. Yeah. And he's, they start cocking their guns. He's buttoning down his collar, steps out. Oh, uh, what a beautiful day. Right. Oh, what a beautiful day to bang, 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 bang. Exactly. What is a setback? <laughs> All right, so everyone roll dex, right? Uh, everyone but dogfight. Roll dex. All right. Why do I have roll dex? I was nowhere near the area. You are Ooh. in the hangar, and the roof has been affected. You are part of the setback. Well, that uh, means okay. okay. GM, I would like to play this second chance card that I have in my pool. Okay, uh, go ahead. And you said right. we all have to roll what? Dex. Uh, dexterity. What about dodge? Uh, Dex. You know what? Dex. We're going to leave it at Dex. 
Okay, so hang, hang on just a minute. Let me go through one at a time and figure out what we've got. So let's see. Okay, Thuban's going to take damage. Moe's going to take damage. Uh, Chris will take less damage. And Thuban... I uh, would three. Would a plus three increase the, uh, you know, well, uh, plus three make it? Uh, yeah, plus three would make it if you play the card. So, Thuban, you're going to end up taking damage no matter what. Yeah. Uh, uh, quite, you know, so let me figure out how I'm going to do this. Um, okay, I've got how I'm going to do this. Okay, so the base is 10. I'm going to... I'm just going to grab somebody's sheet. Uh, here we go. And roll an attribute test. Okay. Attributes. No modifier. Uh, no, 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 no. I need a damage test. How am I going to end up doing this? Okay. I'm going to have to just do it the hard way. Okay, D20. Okay, so that's a 12. Um, that will get me, I believe, that's a 0. Uh, yep, that's a 0. So, um, we're going to start off one person at a time from the top okay thuban what is your toughness 10 10 okay so no uh, actually yes you take one shock just one all right just one uh mo pretty high what's... spirit i can handle it mo what is your uh toughness 15 <laughs> you don't take any damage um Okay, Chris, you made it. Uh, and then Peaches, did you have any kind of a card you wanted to play or anything out of your pool? I can add plus three. Would that help me? Eight, nine, ten, eleven, no. So uh, let's see, what is your toughness? Uh, my toughness is... Uh, strength or... Yeah, okay, look at the upper right-hand corner of your character sheet. You're going to see a long list of defense stuff. Look for toughness. Toughness is 12. 12. Okay, you don't take any damage either. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah, you do. You take one shock. Oh. Well, that's not much of a setback, was it? Oh. You could increase the shock if you want to. I, you know, I probably could. I don't think it's fair. I set a, a certain number of parameters for myself, and uh, and so I don't, I don't think it's fair to go back on that. So All right. you, you guys get the benefit of my good nature. So let's see, <laughs> shock trooper five. I need to open this guy up to see if he goes unconscious. Shock of seven. Oh, he's got one point of shock left. Okay, so now it is your turn to act, and this is for all of you, okay? So you determine what you're going to do and how, and you tell me. And remember, defend and trick are your uh, approved actions. I am going to run and try to board that plane, I suppose. That's what everybody's doing, right? I guess oh, I'm just... Everybody's doing it. Uh, um, I'm it. I, as a player, am on board with the flying discus plan Mo discussed earlier. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. So, Peaches, how about you move last? And okay. What, and, and think about what you want to do in the meantime, because it's getting rather crowded inside that hangar, and you've already been shot at for the round. So you can move and you can... Uh, and you can do something, so you think about that. So, dogfight, uh, I didn't understand the, uh, the discus thing. What discus thing? Uh, the thing is that Thuban, we determined, is probably fairly light, because he is propelled on the air via lighter than our gases, so 
Mo and I were wondering if it would be possible to chuck him across to the plane because he otherwise moves very slowly. Oh, Where okay. is he? He's inside the uh, mirror. Okay. Yeah, you see, you, uh, let me go ahead and kind of center this. All right. You see where my ring is here? Yeah. Yeah, Thuban is right there. So, um, you know what? I'll let you and Mo work that out. Yeah, I can give you a, a, a good old-fashioned, like, you know, just grab you by a couple of tentacles and spin around and, like, you know, send you spinning like a discus. You know, wah! Uh, at, these, at the days, these days, the common parlance is yeet. <laughs> I, I um, I'm still wait, I'm still don't know what my setback is. What 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 exactly is my setback supposed uh, to be? That everybody's uh, looking at me or what? Uh, everybody, you are in everybody's sights. Okay, that's what your setback is. And depending upon what you try to do, um, I would give I might give them an opportunity to shoot at you as an opportunity shot. Which I can I can look up the rule for if you want me to, um, and you would actually be um, considered signing for that for the remainder of the round. Of course, you've got a okay. Power, well, so yeah, um, yeah, I'm not terribly um, okay. So I have. When I'm when I'm at full speed, I'm at 80 meters. Yes, yes. And, and how do I do like the measurement thing in this? Okay, so you just go over to the thing that looks like uh, a ruler or a comb. Click on no snapping. Uh, and then you can just uh, left click in the middle of your token and just kind of move your arrow. Okay. Over. Now. If you're looking to move somewhere and you think you might be making multiple facing changes, that's easy too. You go from the center and you right click and that will allow you to make a, a, a corner. And you can do that multiple times. Okay, so this is the, I, I easily have the distance to do this. So now remember, you, you the cut the roof is still on here except for that that hole right about right about here okay you, you said there was you said there was an open door somewhere right was it over yeah, here somewhere oh there's an open door here there's an open door here or at least a set of doors there's an open door here so you you've got ways to get inside the hangar what about in this area here where yeah, Peaches is? Yeah, right where Peaches is. There's a door right there. Okay, that's what I needed to know. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I, I, um, I, I'm going to take off from here. Uh-huh. This is, this is the big bad guy right here, right? Yeah, that's Colonel Manitou. Okay, I'm going to go fly to here. Uh-huh. Then, then I'm going to go around him. And then you, you and then fly over here to through the door into the doorway and into the plane. Uh, okay. Hang That's about 80 second. meters. Hang on. This is a heck of a trip you're taking. It's 80 okay. meters. Okay. So here's the deal. That's going to require a multi-action. Uh -huh. uh, the first part is being able to fly around Colonel Manitep without hitting him or hitting your building right here. Uh -huh. uh, and then flying in here and getting into the door. Okay. Uh -huh. um, let's see. What kind of maneuverability rating do you have? Um, I have like two or three ads. I also have ac the acrobatics, uh, the acrobatic flight that uh, that uh, that that you know uh, the ranger die had, and uh, ranger guy. Yeah, that's his name. Um, 
It's two letters. M and then O. Yeah, Ranger guy. Like I said. Anyway. I, I also have three ads in maneuver. So Okay, so let me see here. And a thirteen uh, and a ten decks. So I'm 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 kinda good at this kind of stuff. Well, all right, so here's what I'm going to do. Since you can't use the sa very same skill for uh, a multi-action roll, you can do it for multi-targeting, but you can't do it for multi-action because otherwise it wouldn't be multi-action. It would be the same action. Um, I'm going to have you, well, maneuver and dodge are both 13. So I, it, it doesn't matter. So here's what we're going to do. You've got a penalty of two. No. You've got a penalty of two, so go ahead and roll either maneuver or dodge. It doesn't matter. Okay. Okay, now, now it's not doing stuff for me. What the okay. heck? Okay, click on your... Oh, wait, I got it. Yeah, I got to hit the select back. Hold on. Okay, yeah. I got this. All right. And... And you said minus two? It's penalty of two, yeah. It's minus two to my... Yeah, okay. All right. Oh, hold on, don't say nothing yet. Ooh, okay. Yeah, I'm really glad I didn't take that, keep that, uh, keep that on my foot. Uh, okay. Uh, dogfight is... Hold on, hold on. Hour. I'm not, I'm not done. I'm not done. Okay. I'm not done. Okay. Possibility, personal. Okay. Okay, that's a little bit better. And that'll probably and, be and just be and, 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 and I also have a card possibility I'm gonna use so I look really impressive. <laughs> okay. That's my boy. <laughs> Diminishing returns. So, and, 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 and while it not isn't any kind of a taunt or anything, I'm going to make a point of saying to this gentleman right here, uh, oh. it's, been, it's been really fun, not, bye! It's been really fun, gotta go. Okay. <laughs> you swoop around, Colonel Manitap, and you don't hit anything else, and you fly into the doors here, Okay, but because you guys didn't plan this very well, <laughs> you bang into Thaban and into Mo. Thaban, you float out over the water. Well, okay, that gets you closer to the. Um, that gets you closer to the plane. And Mo, yeah. you drop into the water. <laughs> Not surprised. He's uh, always doing that. Yeah, and then Dogfight is wondering why two of his friends are now in the water. No, I'm actually well, heading for the plane. I don't care. Well, okay, you've ex you've expired your movement for the time being because you had to get into a pair of doors that was being blocked by Penny, Mo, and Thuban after flying around Colonel Manitou. Okay. Uh -huh. And knocking Mo and Thuban into the water. Not, guess ruin some of my momentum. I get it. Yeah, that's okay. I uh, understand. So now there's All right. three of you in the water. I'm <laughs> okay. in the water? There's your setback. Oh, come on. There's your setback. All right. Because Mo. <laughs> there, there's my setback. <laughs> I don't think Mo can can throw me while we're both in the water. So no. that would probably be pretty uh, actually, tough. Actually, Suban, you're not in the water. You're floating above yeah, I'm... the water. Yeah, so it got me closer. So I guess I'll take my turn next, and I'll just float two squares over here because that's as far as I can go, and then take no. an active deep. No? No, 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 because... 
because Mo's going to use his action to grab your ass because he weighs 700 pounds in this armor <laughs> and, and water's not his friend. Uh, right. <laughs> you grab no, don't grab the Morgans again. <laughs> he, he, he needs a flotation device. <laughs> Oh if that so, means if that if you can move faster than I can, go ahead. Okay, so if you want to do that, Mo, roll uh -huh. your unarmed combat. <laughs> uh. Let me look up grappling here real quick. Oh, let's see. Unarmed combat test. Melee weapons may be used instead um, with the appropriate weapon. Let's see. A standard success strikes the target and does strength minus two damage. A good strikes with strength damage if the attacker chooses and the foe is restrained. Okay, but on a standard I guess I'm success, going you don't grapple. Huh? Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I'm just making a grab for him because I'm going into the water. Uh -huh. So, uh, yeah, I guess if I get a good enough success, I, I've managed to get a hold of him. Otherwise, I just go into the water. Okay. <laughs> uh, all uh -huh. right, let's see here. And, and this isn't exactly my highest skill, so. <laughs> You're going to hate me. <laughs> uh -oh. uh, okay. Wait, wait. My unarmed combat defense is eight because that's my strength. Okay, so defender wins. Um, so you are not able to. You're able to run your hand over one of the band's te tentacles. Okay, well, one of his arms. Um, it leads to a very <laughs> sensuous moment. Um, and then you <laughs> <laughs> and then you drop down to uh, where your helmet, the bottom of your helmet, stops right above the water. You are standing in the pool. You, don't forget, you're seven something tall. That is true. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm counting. I'm counting. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, so Blue, she, he just he just disappears for a minute and then it stands it's up. It's just like that clip from She-Ra when the dude is screaming and floundering for his life in ankle deep water. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. Uh -huh. All right. Okay, so I guess I'll take. Hold on. Oh, sorry. Hold on. Dogfight made his move. Mo made his move. Uh, How do I discard my hero card? Um. You just put it, uh, drag it out onto the desktop or onto the, the map. Okay, now what are you trying to do with it? That was the hero card I spent on my action. Oh, okay. Okay, so that one goes away. Thuban, uh, you still have your movement. So does Chris and Peaches. Yep, so I'm going to move here. I'm going to – can I grab onto the very edge of the plane because I can see some of its pixels. Um Lapping over into this square. Um, actually, you don't even have to do that. You can actually float high enough to get onto that wing if you really want to. But it's kind of it, – it's it's going to be kind of really difficult for you to get uh, to the rest of the plane. Uh, let me show you why, okay? Uh, the uh, rudder comes this far forward. Okay. Okay. And then getting on these wings that are down here, come on. Getting on these wings down here, that's easily three meters in the air. You will be able to do it if you can make a dex check. Here's the question. If I have another round uh, to take my time, would I be able to do that without risk? Uh, another. Okay, which part? To get on the the... To get on the stabilator here, or to uh, try and make it here to the to wing. try and make it to where to try and make it to the wing where it would probably be safer to do so. Well, you can only move two spaces at a time. So here's what I recommend: on the next round, move your two spaces, and then on the following round, we'll do the dex check to get you up on the wing. Okay, so in my action this round, I guess, is just to take an active defense because okay. people are probably going to try and shoot at us through that door. Okay, so roll, uh, roll, you click on your defense. There you go. Plus five. Holy smokes! All right, you have to keep that in mind, please. 
Uh, that makes my dodge a twenty a twenty three at the moment. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Uh, make sure. Oh, wait a minute. An active defense is for uh, unarmed and melee only. Oh, okay. Yep. So that still you, helps. Yeah, that still helps. Uh, you won't need it for well. You might need it for a regular dodge, but for unarmed and melee, that gives you a bonus of five. Okay, Chris and Peaches. Yeah. What do you want to do? Me? I'm running to catch up. Uh, that's what I'm doing. Okay, get inside. Uh, yeah. Just right in the next square from where you're at, because there's a door. If you move your character, you'll see that there are doors right there. Yeah. See? Uh, yeah. I guess if I see everybody in the water swimming to the door of the plane, I take it that's what they're doing? Uh, it appears so, yes. Uh, the only person in the water is me. Oh, dog fights no, hovering over oh, the water. Yeah. Everybody else is hovering over. Oh, dog, dog fight spilled into the water too. Me and both left up in there. Sorry, I forgot yeah, about that. Like, uh, get out of the water. that's on purpose and 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 being particularly athletic, she'll just die right in. Can we swim faster than we run? Um. Well, actually, you take a look around, and there's a little ladder right about here that would allow you to get on top of the wing. Okay, I have one more set of movement. Uh, I'll go that way. Well, um, no, because remember, uh, oh, you're talking about moving your last square? Yeah. Okay, uh, that's fine. Um, okay, I think that's it for her. No, Chris, what are you doing? Yeah, I'm looking around for Chris. Do you mean Chris, you're on mode? mute. You're on mute. Uh, to stir up the plane, would we be needing keys? Um, you don't know. Search the dude. And yeah. will this guy be a problem in, in, you know, doing the plane process? You don't know. Yeah, I would... I would oh, that I would right turn. there? Yeah, he's probably going to become a problem eventually. Yeah, pick his pockets and stuff, yeah. He's still alive and conscious. Yes, he's in the water. He's trying to get out. He just failed his role really badly. Oh. So what do you want to do? Mm. Yeah, I don't think any of the rest of us even know that there's somebody else in the hangar. <laughs> yeah, you guys are on the other side. <laughs> it's like... You know, um, you don't see any parts of plane between you and him. Well, then. Boom, boom, fire time. Guys, and fire kinesis on this guy. Okay, what's your range on that? 25 meters. 25 meters. So, oh, yeah, well within. 23. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, so uh, 23 <laughs> versus his dodge. That is uh, squad BST5. No. Okay, so let's see. I think this guy has an 8. Yeah, he's, he's only got an 8. Uh, so, but he's already got 7 points of shock on him. <laughs> so... Uh, let's see, 23, 8, 18, 19, 20, 21. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay, uh, you get, uh, I'm going to give you uh, two bonus dice out of this. Go ahead and roll damage. I got to see this. And, of course, you forgot to collect your, or click your character last time, so that wouldn't have worked. Okay, so let's see, that's... Uh, Two wounds and four shock. Holy smokes. Uh, it just kind of go, it goes exploding in a, a patch of red mist? Something like that. Well, this is fire. So it's like I hold my, you know, hold my hands up like a shotgun, like, like cock it and fire and shooting fish. And he's a fish in a barrel. Yeah, he's he's not even uh, he's not even floating on top. He's got he's got uh, he's so much of a crispy crisp, crispy critter that uh, he he can't even do anything. All right, he's done. All right, so that takes care of him. 
Now, what about the office? The, there's a guy in the office. I need to, I need to get his. Um, I don't know why I didn't get this before. Uh, whoa, where is he? He's got to be under the good guys. I have so many bad guys. It's ridiculous. Uh, good guys. There we go. That's the guy. Okay, let me drag him in here. Uh, oh, there he is. And he lo he looks like uh, Dogfight because um, I didn't know that uh, that uh, Robert was going to choose that particular token, and I had already set this one up. So, all right. So this guy is literally sitting against the wall uh, in a chair, and and uh, there's gunfire going on, but his eyes are like barely fluttering open. Hey Chris, I, uh, Connor, I thought you had moved your character two squares forward. I do that so I can actually see my target. Because before he was completely invisible, and I wouldn't be able to click on him. Oh. So you, my character's actually there, but I had to move it over so the sh shadow moved over so well, I could see. You still got movement if you want to use it. Yeah, that's what I'm th kind of debating on. Yeah. Is it like, should I try to... Is there... Oh, yeah, there is a door. Uh, it's like, should I try to search in that office for keys? Because I feel like a plane would have keys. Or should I just try to go onto the plane and then be like, oh, I had to come back? So the slowest person in the, on the goddamn team is the one who wants to want dawdle around and try and find something that we don't need. Wait, I'm not the slowest on the team. You're, you're floating at two miles an hour. Get your ass on the plane. <laughs> no, that's not, that's not, that's not Connor. No, that's <laughs> oh, okay. I'm like, my bad. Yeah. My bad. <laughs> yes, they look so similar. <laughs> yeah, one's a human. The I can other barely, is a tentacle beast. I can, I can barely tell them apart. And the voices are killing me. Okay, leave me alone. Anyway, go ahead. Chris, what are you going to do? Uh, do you guys think I should go look for the keys, or...? That would probably be smart, yeah. One yes. sec. Yes, I do. Okay. But that's or, or, all or my button that opens the uh, hangar door. No, the hangar door is wide open. It's right oh, okay. Open. Yep. I can only move three blocks, so... Uh, okay. Nice to go. Yeah. You, uh, okay, so the, the individual that's sitting in the chair, uh, like I said, he's got his, uh, he's got a hat pulled over his eyes, and the chair just kind of starts rocking a little bit, um, but not much. <clears throat> okay, so it, I take it that's the end of the round for everyone? Yeah. Yeah, I made it in. <laughs> okay. Um, so... Let me get rid of that. And I'm going to draw a new one. I don't know why it keeps putting the cards out of the way. All right. Let me scale this up a hair. Death from above. Boy, we're getting a lot of aviation uh, cards this time. Uh, characters with elevation advantage flying on rooftops may re-roll once uh, on a bonus die. Let's have the party. May re-roll ones on the <laughs> bonus die. Okay. Okay, so it's a standard scene. Heroes go first, and you are up. Now, for those of you who don't remember, remember the affected side each gain an additional roll. Added as if a possibility were spent, except no minimum roll of 10. It's great for multi-actions. Um, and the approved actions are intimidate. Now, let me just stop for a second and kind of point something out. The doors all have chains available to them, okay, on the inside. I don't know. Should lock the door then, yes? What I'm thinking is all of you should work at the possibility of, of trying to lock these doors up to keep um, bad guys out, frankly. There's nothing to fight in here. 
but there mm -hmm. is, there are things uh, to move. Now, here here's what I'll do. I have the ability to change that up to a flurry. So I could literally give you two rounds of movement to to get around. Instead of the up? Instead of the up. But it's up to you guys what you want to do. I think in these circumstances that makes more sense since we're kind of in a madcap dash rather than a try and get really high rolls situation right now. Oh, yeah. Precisely. Thank you. That would be perfect. Now, I'm going to then lock the door and then head for that ladder. Okay. So, bear in mind, it's going to take you one square to get there, and you've only got three squares. So, it's basically one there and then two back. So, you could literally go right here once you're done. Um, but it's probably going to take the rest of the round to, to lock that door up, and then you could use the flurry to start moving. How's that? Sounds fair. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, I'll I'll make sure I, I do my darndest to practically weld this door tight. Well, you may as well rush, rush for your second turn. Yeah, I can rush for my second turn, but I, I'll... Um, are these doors the kind where if you... Can you stick a bar, bar in between the two door handles or something as well as chain it? Um, yeah, there's, there's there's a bar that goes across. Uh, the chain actually uh, secures uh, to the floor. Okay, so you've got the bar that comes down across the doors, and then you've got a chain connected to the bar or welded to the bar, and you actually lock it to a ring that's on the floor. How does that sound? That sounds wonderfully secure. Oh. How, uh, what kind of skill is going to take it to do that? Uh, nothing. All right. You're, you're just Time. using the first half <laughs> of your round to do that action, and then the second half of your round, you can start rushing around. Now, right. for some of the rest of you, it might be more difficult than that. So who wants to go next? I'll go next just because I'm not doing that. Um, I'm getting on the plane and getting in the cockpit and starting the plane. Um, okay. You, uh, it, was that dogfight? Yep. Okay. So you can, you can fly up to, uh, that, you know, uh, the wing of the plane, there is a maintenance hatch that's on top. Um, and you can get inside there. Mo, you're not going to be able to get inside that maintenance hatch, but there is a hatch on the side of the aircraft underneath the wing. Mm -hmm. that you can kind of squeeze into. But you're going to have to work your way there uh, probably without walking. Or probably without flying, I mean. Yes, I was thinking that very thing. Okay, so... Um, so, Dogfight, go ahead and move your character up towards uh, this area. Uh, and when you get there, uh, you notice it's locked. There is literally the, the a lock on the plane. Yeah, this hatch right here. On the. There's a maintenance hatch right in this area. Somebody put a padlock on it. Yep. Um, it's military protocol. Um, yeah, you know what else is military protocol? <laughs> Shooting locks. <laughs> uh, you can try. It looks no, like no, a you don't. Lock. No, I'm going to hold it up with one finger, I'm going to put my fist up against it, and I'm going to shoot it. Oh, with the blast ray? Yeah! Well, so roll it. You don't, you don't really have to roll okay. to hit. Um, the roll to hit okay. will determine if you get any bonus dice, though. Oh hey, the, yeah, the bonus dice would help with damage here because of the cost, because of the drama card. Uh huh. So I'm rolling a, a dexterity. I, or no, I'm sorry, energy weapons. That's what. I'm yeah, rolling. you're gonna roll <laughs> energy weapons as standard. Okay. Okay. Come on, get over there already. Um. Roll was a three. I was spending a possibility on that. I still have another card possibility. Okay, if you want to spend it. Yeah, I want to spend it to get the damage. Okay. 
So let's see. Um, hang on just a second. Let me look up. Wait a minute. I should have those on here. Uh, there we go. Uh, hey, when, why didn't that go? Why didn't that reroll the 10? Um, because you hadn't selected your, your token first. So hang on. No, your roll was only a three. Yeah, my second roll was the 10. Yeah, so that made the total roll of 13. A 13 gives you a plus one. But a 10 should get a reroll. Explodes. Um, in, let's see. Now, why didn't that explode? Because he hadn't selected the character. No. In this case, it shouldn't have done that. You're told, okay, if you rolled a 10, why didn't it allow you to, to roll on a 10 and a 20? Hang on, hang on, hang on. If he wasn't selected, if, okay. if he wasn't selected, it might not have taken it as a skilled roll, but an unskilled roll. But that still should have exploded, shouldn't it? It still should have exploded, yeah. So that gives a minimum of plus one. Should, 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 should I, like, just roll again or something, or, or what? Uh, hang on, hang on. Huh. Well, I'll be damned. This formula always works, but apparently it didn't work in this case. Um, okay, uh, yeah, roll a d10. Or, I'm sorry, a d20. Da, da, da. <clears throat> uh, okay. Okay, over here on... Get over I got here. it, I got it, yeah, I got it. Uh, yeah, I got that part, okay. Damn it, okay. Okay, well... So, that's a 19... Uh, yeah. yeah, that's a 19, which gives a, I believe that's what, a plus four? Plus five. Plus five. No, plus six. A 19 gives you a plus six. So, oh, um, yeah, no, it's a plus five to my energy weapons. I'm sorry. Okay, so that's going to give you one bonus die for damage. Go ahead and roll your damage. Uh, okay. Okay. Um, well, no, no, no. Okay. Uh, hold on just a second. Um, go to your care. Uh, select your character. Your token. Okay. Open up your character okay. sheet. Okay. Wait. Hold on. All right. Selecting my character. Okay. Um, select your character. Open your character sheet, which is the same thing I'm doing right now. Tell me when you're ready. Um, why is it not doing that? I'm getting an edit token list. I don't want to um, edit a token. Why aren't you... Okay, you have to go to your journal up at the top right. After you've selected your token, you go to the journal at the top right, which is the newspaper-looking thing. Click on... Yeah, I remember that part. Okay, but okay. it doesn't get the... I didn't get the... Um, what I don't know. Never mind. What am I doing? Okay. Open up the journal. Looks like yeah. a newspaper thing. Go down to your character under Storm Knights and open Dogfight's character sheet. I I, I got the character sheet open. What do I okay. go? What do I go from there? Okay. Look down at weapons and powers where your blast ray is, and look okay. all the way to the right where it says damage. You've got a fifteen. Okay. There. Click on the fifteen. Right. And then when it asks you, uh, how many? Bonus dice. One bonus die. Okay, got it. One bonus die. Okay, now let me see what you got. I got to switch over again, and everything is four. Okay, the lock comes open um, <clears throat> rather readily. Um, yeah. Holy <laughs> crap. Um, actually, that's right. The toughness on that. Shit. Of course, I've got to look that up. So you're, you, you know what? You open the lock. You've got four wounds and, and eight shock on that thing. Anything that I could put out as toughness for that lock is not going to beat that. Okay. So okay. Uh, the lock melts, uh, you know, away from your hand. You literally blow away anything that was there. Uh, cool. So then Mo, yeah. your door is also locked. All right. I'm, I'm just going to try to, like, you know, twist the lock off of it. Well, uh, you can't because the lock is built into the door handle. 
Oh. It's one of those little <laughs> twisty locks. I get padlocks, you get regular locks. Yeah, I get a regular lock. Oh, that's, that's, that's unfortunate. Now, how'd you get over there uh, so quick? Uh, I ran. You can't run in the water. Oh. <laughs> You're in the water. It's up to the bottom of your helmet. So you can yeah. move, uh, I think it's four spaces? Uh, three. Uh, each round? Uh-huh. Okay. Well, so I could still make it, but it would take me both. It would take me both rounds. Yeah, it would. Okay. Yeah, it would take you. No, no, no. I would no, have no, to no, use. No, no. no, you can't run in water. Your movement is six. Yes. You've got. So... You have to use three three points per square. Oh. Because each okay. square is three meters, so you can move two per uh, per round. With flurry, you could move a total of four. All and right, you can't so move diagonally like that. That just costs you two. I didn't move diagonally. I moved straight. I know. I know. I'm, I'm, I'm watching how you're doing things. You've, you've only moved two squares so far. Right. So then when the flurry comes around, you can move another two. Okay. Thaban. Yes? What are you doing? Go lock the door, Thaban. All right. Uh, I am going to drift over... Uh, how does the active movement work again? Okay, it's still going to cost you uh, a total of six of your movement. So That's all of my movement, then. Yeah, so that would be the first part of the round for you. Okay, then when the flurry comes right. around, you first... can move another two. Okay, so then I am moving all two of my spaces over to the door, uh, question mark. Closing it with my action, locking it. And then with the flurry, I guess I'm just going to move back over here. Okay, wait, wait, you're, you're not understanding me. Hang on. Let okay. Me get, let me get your sheet open real quick. Okay, you can move six. It's the same thing that I was just telling Mo. Each square requires three. So for the first part of the round, you can move two squares. And then the second part, you can move another two squares. And then it's going to take you the next round to uh, be able to lock the door, okay? Okay, so I guess I'm just staying here then and locking uh, the door. I can't move. I can't do anything else. Uh, yeah, on this next round, you won't be able to do anything else. You'll be busy locking the door. And then on the following round, you'll be able to deal with that. Now, uh, I'm, I'm going to ask what Chris is doing because you four have done stuff this round. And I'm probably, with the doors locked, going to take you guys out of rounds. Okay. Okay. Okay, and, and kind of get you moving. That'll help in the scene. Uh, okay, yeah, so Chris, this is what are you doing? Bad. Yeah. So I enter the room, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to go look for the keys. Okay. Well, um, when you open the door, the... Uh, the individual behind the desk startles awake. His feet slam on the the planks uh, underneath his desk, and you see that he's got a humongous, mostly empty bottle of some kind of alcohol. Being from Core Earth, you've never seen the label before. Drunk as a skunk. Uh, okay. Uh, but what you, also back see, to... what you also see is a bunch of maps on the table. And there is a map case, a map roll case, uh, in the middle of the desk. Okay. And he says, What do you <laughs> want? He sounds very French, deeply French. And mind you, he still uh, has not lifted the brim on the on the hat yet. The keys, sir. And the map. The map. You're not there, Peaches. Shh. Dang it. <laughs> what do you mean keys? What do you want keys for? The keys for the plane. Keys for the plane. Oh, you need to open. Why do you want the keys to my plane? I've been told to do an inspection on it. 
he he lifts the brim on the hat and looks at you, and and sees your uh, a skimpy little kid in a white t-shirt or whatever you're wearing now, and uh, and he's like, "You're not from Mobius Army." And you're drunk. I am not as drunk as you think I am. And he says that right. perfectly. I'm not as think as you drunk I am. <laughs> but he says it in, in, you know, pretty much perfect French-tinged English. No slurring. No slurring. So you say that bottle's empty because of someone else? Oh, uh -huh, no. <laughs> but you I'm, can't have the key to the train either. Make me offensive. What? Why do, you, why do you want the keys to my plane? Because do you want to take it out? <laughs> Over my dead body. The, that can be arranged. I'd rather not. <laughs> um, hang on just a second. He says, really, what are you doing here? To take the plane. Where do you want to go?